Hello, this is Leonardo, and in this video, I'm going to show you my new filter, which is called Ferox, and it's a uh, it's a simulation of the CMOS filter. So if you don't know what, what a CMOS filter is, it's based on, on the CMOS technology, which is used to produce uh, digital chips. And one very interesting thing about this filter is that uh, the main component, which is it's a CMOS inverter, uh, it's its sole purpose is, is just to invert a digital signal. It's made for digital electronics. But the inventor of this filter, or, or actually I have no idea who, who had, who was the first person to, to notice that it was possible to do something like this with an inverter. But I think that it was a great idea. So instead of using operational amplifiers, it uses a digital inverter. And if I, I read somewhere that it, that it was made like this because uh, a digital inverter was much, much cheaper than, than an operational amplifier, so it was possible to, to, to replace it. And the result of that is, is that uh, you have a filter, but this filter has a very nonlinear behavior, and it's... Uh, I mean, it can be considered a bad filter, but uh, it has a uh, lot of character, a lot of personality, and lots of distortion. So let's uh, take a listen to it. And yeah, while I'm here, I, I want to show you a quick update as well. Knobs has a, a new mode, which is called the mix mode, which you can use as a mixer. And now the knob is going to control uh, the master volume. So let me raise the volume so you can hear the, the waveform. And I have a, a waveform produced with, with Noxious, which is just a, just a saw wave. And let's listen to the filter in, in low pass mode. So it's a very typical sound. There is nothing special, and you can hear that in this case, the filter attenuates a little bit. So I'm gonna increase drive. And one important thing that we can notice is that uh, the input is already being distorted. It's not very loud, but it's already distorted. And let me increase the resonance. it a little bit more let's go to the maximum important thing with this filter is that it doesn't self oscillate so if you put it to the maximum resonance it's not gonna start oscillating it needs some input always and if we push the drive a little bit more we can start here the that is unstable it has those points where the signal is uh, where the output uh, is a little bit unstable and one very interesting thing that this filter has is that it it includes a, a distortion after this filtered signal let me i'm gonna put it like this and let's start let's raise a little bit the the byte parameter
it with the with the input gain and also with the with the byte parameter. In order to change the tonality of the filter. And this filter has four modes, the low pass, the band pass, the high pass, and also the notch. The notch is actually very interesting. So this is Ferox and it is also available uh, in, in Freak is one of the of the models that you that you can select. Uh, but it has a small difference that the that there is no no byte parameter. So you can only select the the drive. That why there is no byte parameter is that the uh, FedEx doesn't have an extra control. But it's basically the same, you can select the four, the four uh, filter modes. So FedEx is part of the premium package, so all the Persons that have the premium package, they're gonna receive it uh, with the, the next update, and and it's in this part of, of Freak. So if you have Freak, is the next update is gonna include it. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much. And if you want to keep receiving updates uh, regarding the models, you'll subscribe to this channel. <laughs>